All right, everyone, so if you've watched my videos, you know my stance on the Vic Mignogna situation very clearly. I support innocent until proven guilty, and there's no concrete proof against Vic Mignogna yet. So I wanted to have a debate with someone who's either on the side of I stand with Vic, kick Vic, or they're neutral. So I have someone who's on the side of I stand with Vic here. Introduce yourself, bro. What's up? My name is, uh, you know, I'm not going to use, use any name really. I'm just going to keep it blank as it is because yeah. i have way too many different socials social handles as it is i can't keep track of what to call myself anymore yeah he wants call to me keep himself Steve. anonymous <laughs> basically <laughs> all right so we're just going to talk about the vic Biniana situation in a civil way and we're basically just going to present a lot of the points from both sides and if he wants to uh, remain more on the side of i stand with vic then i can present some you know counter arguments play devil's advocate a little bit so just give your entire opinion about the whole vic Biniana situation real quick for us well, you know, it all. I think I first heard about this when Sean decided to go out and call everybody asshole, all the fans assholes. And I did some digging after that because I was like, okay, I looked up to this guy for freaking years. And like, I can't believe he's just doing this without any solid proof or anything. And then did some digging, found out what happened. And I just right away, I was like, okay, this screams like a te you know it's to me it just screamed i want attention and you know we're gonna get someone we're gonna we're out to ruin someone's life just because we can't so what are your thoughts on uh, the hashtag kick vic people saying it shouldn't be innocent until proven guilty in a defamation case it should be guilty until no proven innocent they want vic to prove his innocence what do you think about that he shouldn't have to prove anything. It, it, it comes down to the court system to prove anything. Um, I mean, and, f you know, they're, they're saying that he should be the one to own up to his mistakes. If you've seen, I've seen the footage of him uh, talking at the convention and almost in tears, you know, about this whole situation. And that right there to me is just like, okay, like he's admitting that he may have made people uncomfortable he didn't mean to it's and when you're in that you know when you're in the business of voice acting and going to thousands of conventions you know after doing that for so many years you become kind of a robot and you're just like you know and sorry no that's cool i think that's a great point um so i think we can both agree that he wasn't necessarily apologizing for sexually assaulting anyone it was more of a general apology when he's made physical contact with people at conventions. He was just saying, if I made someone feel uncomfortable, I'm sorry. I don't think he's apologizing for, oh, I'm sorry if I touched a girl's boob. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And when it comes down to that, you know, the whole apologizing thing, he shouldn't, I feel like he shouldn't have to in general, you know, and unless like there was, you know, unless it's after the lawsuit and after all the, the whole shebang goes down, then of course you give an actual apology. But this, you know, seeing him basically say, I've done this for so many years and, you know, the times change. People don't, you know, con consistently want, you know, contact with someone they might not, they look up to, but they might not know. And it just turns into a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, so I think his apology was more out of common courtesy than it was out of guilt. I think you would agree, right? So um, Yeah, exactly. I, I've been talking to a lot of people from both sides, and uh, I've been seeing a few people saying that I Stand With Vic has actually been fabricating a lot of evidence. So what are your thoughts on that? Because I personally have not seen any fabrication of evidence from I Stand With Vic. I've seen some people Photoshop some screenshots, but they were done as a meme, and they said that they did it as a meme. Like, for example, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Go, I've go seen on. a bunch of stuff like that. And to me, it's like, you know, you know, people at that point, it's, you know, people reaching for straws. It's like, oh, but your side's been saying all this stuff, but we've been doing all this. So why aren't you, you know, getting mad at your own people? And I'm, and it's just come down to he said, she said a bunch of stuff. I think, I think and, grabbing at straws, is, sorry to interrupt. It's a great metaphor because. A lot of people, when I ask Kick Vic supporters, what information has I Stand With Vic fabricated? A lot of them can't really think of a clear-cut answer. If you ask me right now, I can name literally like five or ten things 
that hashtag Kickvic has fabricated. Sean Schimmel lied about almost getting swatted. Mars, Mars Girl said in one picture that Vic Mignogna sexually assaulted her. Then in another picture said, no, he didn't sexually assault me. I just believe victims. A Kick Vic supporter lied about I, an I stand with Vic supporter swatting them. Monica Rial threatened fans with the FBI or just talking yeah. to her. I can go on and on. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on that? Oh, no, I got blocked by Monica because I, I just asked. I was like, where is your actual proof? I, this, I think it was after she made, you know, she made her statement. And I was like, you know, and then I saw it was kind of similar to a different, some, a different statement back when that was getting all debunked and stuff. And I'm, I just asked a simple question. I'm like, look, you're, the story you're giving kind of sounds like something that was already said and was already debunked. And then that was when she was just like, nope, you, you're out of here. And so did you, uh, t- sorry to interrupt, did you use any profanity? Did you insult her? Anything like that? No, I just, I just was like, it's, I, I was a little, I will, I will admit, I was a little a bit upset about everything at the time. And I was just like, look, you're getting caught here, but I'll still give you the benefit of the doubt. If this is, you know, this is true, then cool, I'll believe you, but... You have all these other people, you know, finding these little parts of your story and saying that's not true. Which is it? Like, can you be more clear about? Because her whole statement to me just seems so vague. And I just wanted to know, like, look, I'm gonna give you one shot, <laughs> and if you're not, and if then a block is what I got. So I was like, okay, that just kind of shows me that something's up with your little plan here to ruin his career. I completely agree. You wouldn't feel the need to block people for simply asking you questions. If you were being a little bit aggressive, insulting her, I could understand. I made an entire video showing all of the inconsistencies in Monica Rial's statement, by the way. Um, this is a little bit of a side note, but I can't believe that Monica Rial hasn't blocked me. Sean Schimmel hasn't blocked me. Chris Savitt hasn't blocked me. Jamie Markey hasn't blocked me. The only person think... that's blocked me is Ron Toy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ron. Ron is And even Ron isn't helping the situation. Oh, give, give me your thoughts about Ron, because I, I hate him more than everyone. <laughs> so when I... What, what was it that Ron said? He he just came out and You want me to give you an overview real quick? Yeah, yeah. So I, I, made an, I made two videos on Ron Toy, and uh, one of them got... This isn't to toot my own horn. This is just to show how angry the community was. Yeah. One of them got 16,000 views, and everybody in the comments was so upset at him. So somebody tweeted, in broken English, uh, I don't like that Kick Vic... Or I don't like that Vic Mignogna got falsely accused. It was like some broken English. So it suggests to me that mm-hmm. the person tweeting was either a kid, maybe had a mental disability... Maybe their yeah. English wasn't their first language. So you shouldn't make fun of anyone, right? But you especially shouldn't make fun of someone like that. Ron Toy mm-hmm. responded so aggressively to that person. He said, go ask your fucking mom about her fucking opinion, about your stupid I opinion. remember seeing that. And I, I remember, was, and then... Yeah, go on, go on. Wasn't there... I remember scrolling through that, and I think I saw one of them say something about dicks in your mouth or something, like how because of how he was typing. I forget which person that was, but I think I saw something like that. And I was like, both of y'all are attacking someone just because they can't, you know, be, you know, type legibly, despite maybe having something, you know, yeah, wrong some, with them. something off, like, you know, maybe they're a kid, you yeah. know, there could be hundreds of variables. Don't, in, you know, criticize someone's argument. Don't make fun of the well, way they type, how they look and all that. Well, also, it's Twitter. You can only say so much in 240 characters. Oh yeah, that's, like, that's a great. I, I mean, well. everybody has had that moment where they've typed out like broken English because they want to get a point across really fast. Yeah, and they don't like, have enough characters to say it. But yeah, just and then when he was all, you know, I remember when he was going off about go ask your mom about her opinion. I was just like, dude, that's about that's about as childish as you can get, and you're really not helping anybody's case in this. Okay, all you're so- doing is harassing someone. Yeah, I agree. So what's your thoughts? I don't know if you know this, but what's your thoughts about Ron Toy saying all that shit about Vic Mignogna, obviously spewing hatreds towards him and his supporters. But once the news came out that Vic Mignogna was lawyering up, lawyering up, sorry, I don't even know if that's a fucking word, but <laughs> he was getting lawyers, right? And then Ron Toy yeah. wanted to make peace with him. Did you Did you see that? I, I saw that and I laughed my ass off. I won't lie. It was hilarious. It was a total backpedal moment because he's like, oh, no, all the stuff I said could be used against me in a court of law. Oh, God, I better cover up everything. That way no one can say I did all this stuff. But as everyone knows, the Internet always remembers. 
Oh yeah, they screenshot everything he said. I made oh. two videos on it. it. Those videos aren't coming down, let me tell you that. But um, <laughs> I, I find it so funny that Ron Toy is willing to make peace with the person who sexually assaulted, allegedly sexually assaulted his fiance fucking multiple times over decades. I would, how do you, what? <laughs> So and yeah, that, and that the, gives more traction to the theory that he's only doing that because he's afraid of what they'll use against him in the court case. Well, yeah, and it also when when he's saying all this stuff too, I'm like, you're really not helping your fiance's case here. Like, all you're doing is basically saying, oh, you know, she said all this stuff, but I did, the, but I said this stuff to defend her, and then a smart person would turn around and go, no, you said all that stuff because that's what you think, and. Yeah. Now you're trying to cover up your own ass because your fiance is probably going to have, you know, have some legal issues and you don't want to be lumped in there because you just wanted to jump on a bandwagon and be a sheep. The, the number one great point you made there is him making her case worse, because if you pay attention to the situation where he bought, brought a fan's mom into the situation, which, by the way, is fucking sick. I wasn't said that her, in my video. Wasn't That's, wasn't that person's mom deceased or something like that too? Oh, oh that was that... a that was a different situation. But that, I'm talking about that was the a different situation. Yeah. I'm talking about the one where he was like, "Go ask your fucking mom their opinion or whatever," right? Yeah. So when you look at that situation, that that fan who was tweeting that didn't say Monica Real's a bitch. I hope Monica Real dies. Monica Real's ugly. Nothing like that. He said, or he or she said, "I don't like that Vic get falsely accused." So does that does that really warrant disrespecting someone's mother? Are you going to really no, it, give that as an excuse and say, oh, I was just defending my fiancé? All this stuff is just crazy. Yeah, okay. I, th I, think we're, I think we've covered a lot of things here. you have any um, final thoughts? All I can say is, like, the, you, took, you took someone's career. He's been in the industry for, what, 20-some-plus years now? And just because it's the new thing is to go out and accuse someone of, sexually harassing or doing terrible things just on the basis of words and no proof and going to Twitter is the worst thing you can do. That's, you can't, you, and even, if, you know, if he did it, he did it and he will get, and if he didn't, then, you know, there's going to be hell to pay for the people that accused him of that. I completely agree. Yeah. So um, I think on, on my final thoughts, I just want to say innocent until proven guilty. Most people, including mm -hmm. myself, who stand with Vic, aren't saying that we 100% know for a fact that he's 100% innocent. But you need to prove to us that he's guilty. It's innocent until proven guilty. There's a thing yeah. called the burden of proof that exists. There's a thing called the presumption of innocence that also exists. So um, yeah. you, you have any final thoughts, bro? Oh, it that's pretty much it. I'm on the same page as you there. I mean, it all comes down to a bunch of hearsay until there's like I'm like I said, I'm if someone shows me legit concrete proof that he did it that can't be debunked and hasn't been photoshopped or anything like that, then you'll change my mind. But as of right now, you're just digging the, they're just digging themselves a grave and and it's just not going to end well and this is just going to drag on forever, I think. Well said, bro. All right, so that's our thoughts on the situation. I want to do the same debate with the hashtag kick, kick Vic supporter or someone who's neutral. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments section below, and uh, see you guys later. Bye.